Alright. All right. Here we are again. Well, we're going to be casting up some round balls. And these are going to be a little bit tricky to do. Um, if anybody's ever tried investment casting a big round part like this, trying to get metal fed into it, it's a, a little bit of a trick. So what we wind up doing here is I cut a couple wax blocks. I'm going to wax this to the ball and it's going to act like a shrink bob to feed it as it cools. Hopefully it works. Also have some uh, little feet that we're going to cast in aluminum. These are for a friend of mine, Dave. This is an experiment with lost PLA with a long thin core. So we're going to see how that works out. It's basically casting a pipe. I'm going to do that in aluminum. The feet will be in aluminum. I'm going to try and fit this uh, miniature supercharger rotor in there as well. Uh, I actually printed it with a shrink bob on it that can be grasped to machine it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Position these in the flask. I'm going to try and keep the ball pretty close down to the uh, bottom and keep the shrink bob in the middle of the flask because the middle of the flask is the hottest part. You know, as it's cooling, it'll stay hotter longer. Way too tall.
How do I want to do these? Wax is cold and hard to cut.
This could be a pain. Uh, I think I can fit it in. I want to try and get this in there because this is neat if it comes out. But it's shine on the room. Just makes it. Mm. Just makes it. go ahead and invest these. I'm not going to record that part because you guys are probably sick of seeing me mix investment. Okay, so we did some casting. These are the uh, Lost PLA feet that I did. They go on my buddy's rifle, uh, 1022 conversion. This here is the uh, hollow tube that I was going to see how well it would do. But if you look here, it does look like the core actually broke and shifted off to one side. Uh, caused a hole. So, I'm going to have to experiment some more and see what we can do as far as the uh, lost PLA casting and hollow you know, tubes, long cores and stuff like that. We got our brass balls. I haven't cut them off, cleaned them up or anything yet. But you can see how the sprueing arrangement was with a large shrink bob, a short gate coming into the ball and that's to eliminate shrinkage and what I want to show you is I cast one 
without the shrink ball, uh, shrink, yeah. And if you can see what happens if you don't get enough metal fed into your part. You know, this is all just shrinkage mostly. It might be a little bit of a dross inclusion in there as well, but you know, adding a nice feeder onto it, you don't have that problem. Somebody had asked me about that, you know, as far as hot tears and shrinks and stuff like that, and I wanted to kind of show how to go about doing it so that you can get, you know, a nice thick part cast without it screwing up on you. That's all. There goes Hank. Okay, so I went ahead and cast these things up. Plenty of dogs. Who wants a dog? Free dogs. Especially that one. Okay, so I cast these up. These are, uh. Hmm. 